Naomi, find the trap for Don't scream in her ears. We're in central Greece. Don't let me down, Maya. Hunting for truffles in heavenly Meteora. This hunting is a shamble so far. Gino, did you put aftershave on? Yes. You're destroying the scent of the truffles. With Fred and Gino so far failing to deliver the goods. Bad girl, Naomi, bad girl. Oh, up steps my trusty hound to show them how it's done. Now look what Labrador do. She will fetch it in her mouth. No way. Look. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is a beauty. Everyone's fascinated with the French and the Italian truffles. It's just a welcome surprise to discover amazing truffles here in Greece. That's 2-0. Thank you. <laughs> and I clearly have a much better connection with my dog than Gina and Fred do. Thank of you. Course. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs Italy when you've got Greece? <laughs> look at this. It doesn't look real. What an incredible spot for our final dinner in Greece. The nun's goodness and generosity must have rubbed off on me. As for once, I'm trusting Gino with mains. So, what are you going to do, bud? I'm going to make a risotto-style pasta with the uh, onions, beautiful Austrian mushrooms. Then I'm going to finish with the pollen. Are you not soaking the mushrooms separately to take the water out? No, 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 because I'm relying on the flavour of the mushroom, so then I can cook the pasta. Are you going to season those mushrooms? Piano, piano. OK. Piano. I get excited watching you cook, that's all. Yes. Just in case Gino trashes his dish, I'm preparing a truffle cream oyster appetizer, a recipe which dates back to the 4th century BC. Natural yoghurt, a little bit of lemon in there, a bit of honey in there, and the oyster juice. Oh. Topped with a fresh black summer truffle I found. These Greeks, they knew how to leave her. Huh? Didn't they? And that Gino has been keeping safe. Please may I have my truffle inside your beaver. Yes, you can. Rap, naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Jesus Christ. Fred, what's for drinks? I'm making a truffle martini with a local vermouth, touch of vodka, and mm -hmm. I have the honey from the sisters. Nice. OK. Oh. There's our appetizer. <laughs> How good do those oysters look? Yeah, they look beautiful. Look at that. This is awesome. Mon ami. Just simple. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Salute, huh? Salute Gino. Salute. Mm. Oh, thank you. This cocktail is amazing. Before we tuck into that delicious pasta, a nice little chilled oyster. Look at that. This is delicious. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Mm. What do you think about the pollen on the pasta? It works. I mean, it's beautiful visually. In terms of the, the flavour, you put just enough, because it's quite sweet. Mm. The flavour is amazing, by the way. Mm. This is definitely by far the best meal that we had. On this trip? Yeah. What do you think of Greece? It's never at the forefront on that gastronomic culinary map in Europe. It's always sort of second, third fiddle behind Spain, France, Italy. But this trip has confirmed it deserves to sit in amongst the very best. It's to ancient Greece and an amazing trip. Chin chin. Salute. 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 I've realized that there are a lot of similarities between the Greek and Italians. Very family orientated traditions. The produce, they're like two brothers separated at a birth. Let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. Hippocrates. <laughs> we are in the birthplace of Western civilization. And the other two, they did not get any of it. None whatsoever. I can't believe it. There's no educating some people, right? Hey, guys, where shall we go next? I've always wanted to take you up the Nile. <laughs> Fred, really? <laughs> Have you ever been up the Nile? <laughs> you were excited to take us up the Nile. <laughs> what has happened I mean, to you? Is this something that you want to tell us before we leave Greece? <laughs> <laughs> what? So long, farewell. I'll be to say goodnight. I hate.